Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe because if you like good vibes, you're gonna love it here. Trust me. I'm excited about today's video because I'm trying out the Kiss Dip Kit for Nails. It's gotten a lot of rave reviews about being quick and easy and just a super affordable way to achieve salon quality nails from the comfort of your own home, basically. So I'm always down with that. I'm always down for doing nails. If you're a regular visitor to my channel or if you watched any of my videos at all, ever, then you probably know that I'm an avid lover of all things beauty and self-care, especially nails and skincare. So really can't wait to give this a try. Really looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Mm. Hey smileys, hey. I've been looking forward to trying the Kiss Dip Powder Kit and today I got time. There are several versions of the kit, but this one came with 20 white nail tips, one dip powder, one bottle of activator, an additional brush, and one brush on gel, which is everything you need to create a salon quality manicure at home. Some of the kits even come with both white and natural tips. Before I started, I placed a towel over my workspace to protect it. A few paper towels will work as well. First, I prepped my nails. I cut them down quite a bit, cleaned them using an orange stick, and finally filed and buffed them, which is going to remove any surface oil and help the tips and powder adhere to the natural nail bed better for long lasting wear. Now before I started, I wiped away any dust and washed my hands to be sure my natural nails were completely clean. You can also remove the dust by wiping the nails with acetone polish remover or alcohol. The application process was straightforward and simple. Start by selecting the correct size nail tip for each finger and put them aside. File the sides for a better fit if you need to. I realize some of us have smaller nail beds than others. I put mine in sequence to make the application process a little easier. Then apply the brush on gel to the back of the nail tip in the whale area and carefully place the tip onto your natural nail until it sets. Make sure the tip is straight, that's most important. Make sure the tip is straight and press gently for about 10 seconds to allow the glue to dry. Then repeat this process on all other fingers. This kit is said to last about two weeks, which is great. And I also like that a light curing lamp is not required. So the starter kit literally has all you need. The tips turned out to be fairly long, so if you're not a fan of long nails, trim the tips to your desired length and use a file to shape them. Just that simple. I like to compare my hands side by side to make sure my lengths match for each finger. I wanted a ballerina shaped nail so I used my snippers to cut the corners of the tips and then used a coarse file, I think I used a 100 grit file, to further define the shape. Ballerina nails are basically the stiletto nail However, they have a square rather than a pointy tip. 
I think it's one of the best shapes for long nail lovers and those with narrow nail beds like mine. They're also known as coffin shape, named after its silhouette, which resembles both a coffin and ballet slipper. But anyway, here's what they look like. Now I'm gonna use the brush on gel to apply the powder. Carefully apply the brush on gel over the nail and be sure to avoid the skin and cuticle area because the powder will pick up wherever the brush on gel is applied. Remove any gel on the skin with a manicure stick because mistakes happen, I get it. Then immediately dip the entire fingernail into dip powder, coating the entire nail bed. Afterwards, tap the finger to shake off any excess powder between each nail. I realized some of the kits come with a dip tray, however, this one did not. Because the tips were so long and I didn't have a dip tray, I decided to use a different method. So, this time I placed a piece of paper underneath my hand and poured the powder over the nail after applying the brush on gel instead of dipping it into the container, which worked just as well or better if you ask me. And the paper is there to catch the excess powder so it can be reused later. Okay, they look really good so far and this is my first time using the kit. With a little practice, I'm sure this can be a breeze for anybody, even beginners who don't typically do their own nails. Some of the dip powder kits also come with a sponge, but I used a brush to gently dust loose powder from the nails. After the first coat, I poured the remaining powder back into the container and then applied a second layer of brush on gel and powder for more thickness. I'm trying to get as close to the cuticle as possible without actually touching my skin. I love that you have total control over how many layers of powder to apply, but I wouldn't recommend more than three. I ended up applying three thin layers for this set, and there was still powder left over, so there's more than enough for the job. And I simply pour the remaining powder back into the jar for future uses. Then I apply the activator generously to each nail. The activator is used to harden the blend of powder and gel. I wanted to be sure that the activator really penetrated all the layers. So I waited about two minutes for the activator to dry completely and applied a second coat. And here's how they looked after applying the activator. And believe me, they are hard as nails. 
Now I'm going to file, shape and buff the nails. You can't tell by this video, but the filing almost took me out. And by that, I mean it took some time, especially because I didn't use my electric nail drill. So I had to work a little harder. The filing actually took longer than any other step, but smileys, we made it. And then I buffed. Nail buffing is simply polishing your nails with a buffer block or nail buffer made of a different grit. It removes any bumps and ridges and leaves your nails looking smooth and polished. So after I got them all to a nice smooth finish with my buffer, I washed my hands using a nail brush to get underneath the nails. And here's what they look like. Pretty good, right? I applied an OPI base coat in clear. I love the way the tips look, so I didn't want to use any color at this time. The acrylic had a pink tint to it, which I love also. They look really good. I followed the base coat up with a clear top coat, also by OPI, because I wanted them to have a really nice glossy shine. And bam, I just set the bar a little bit higher for myself. To add the finishing touch, I applied a drop of cuticle oil to each finger. Cuticle oil moisturizes the cuticle and can increase the circulation around your nails, which stimulates nail growth. I love, love, love the results. This one might put the salons out of business for real. I am really impressed and I'm sure I'll be using this technique again. Everything you need for a salon quality dip powder manicure right at home, DIY style, the way I like to do it. Definitely would recommend this as an affordable alternative to going to the salon. Thanks so much for watching, Smiley. See you in the next one.